for the hoarseness of my voice. It isn't usually like this. Nevertheless, it was important for me to be here regardless. By now, you should have realized the senior Vallis Jumant attended the Alien School long before my time. But my curiosity was pricked when I learned about his, this senior Alien who had passed and one who had made a valuable contribution to the, our association. As alumni president, I launched an immediate investigation into the contribution of this gentleman. I am happy to report my findings to indicate that Fritz Vallis Jumont was indeed an Alenian who lived the school motto of Alice non si, which in Latin is the form for, for others, not self. Kathy Harper Hall, our public relations officer, and one of the more senior members of the association with whom Brother Vallis had more direct contact while he was alive, has most appropriately summarized our comrades' involvement with the Allen School. I now present our alumni tribute as prepared by Ms. Harper Hall, in collaboration with other members of our school community. The association is deeply saddened after learning of the passing of our beloved Alenian comrade, Fritz Vallis Jumant Sr. of the class of 1949, affectionately known to us as Vallis. He was one who truly treasured the experience of having gone to the Alley School in Barbados. He spoke of his school days with great pride. He was a strong supporter of the Alley School Alumni Association, also known as the ASAA, and of the school directly. Every grand reunion year, he ensured that his business place, then Jamont's Variety Store in Spike Sound, placed an advertisement in the reunion magazine. When he closed the business, he ensured that his son, who is the manager of Notes of Praise, also in spite sound, continued the tradition of placing the advertisement in the magazine. The senior Vallis not only attended almost every event staged by the ASAA, which included church services, ceremonies, meetings, social activities, etc., but he always contributed to any Alenian cause. Before he became ill, he kept abreast with activities at the school and donated prizes for a speech day annually. As the saying goes, Vallis was an Alenian to the bone. He would always reminisce about his days at school with persons like the late MacDonald Smith and Sir Conrad Hunt, Oriel Lynch, and Randall Sandiford, and he always talked about the girls, especially Grace Sargent, Mary Rock, and the late Gloria Stevenson, who were his classmates. Vallis Sr. shall be fondly remembered by our alumni community for his contribution, for his friendship. Our alumni leadership team, on behalf of the wider Allen School community, the principal, staff, and students extend its emotional support to the Jamont family and friends during this time of loss. We will forever remember yet another Alenian who lived the motto, Alice non si, for others non self. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you. Reverend 
Kazil Jemet, members of the Spike Strong Church of the Nazarene, of course the Nazarene family, members of the Jemet family, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm honored this afternoon as the son-in-law of Alice Jemet Sr. to be offering this appreciation. The North will well remember Vallis Jemet Sr. as the shopkeeper of the famous Jemet Thorite store, a provider to many in times of great need and a quiet advisor. Of course, the aforementioned attributes pale in comparison to his other roles as an attentive brother, a loving husband, a committed father, a doting grandfather, and of course, a loyal friend. Daddy Jem, the middle child and first boy of Eileen and Clarence Yemen, was raised along with his brother Alvin and sisters Dotha, more commonly called Jean, Joyce, all the C's, and Marjorie, who's here with us. He grew up in the quaint community of Indian Ground, where his parents owned a small shop opposite the Christian Mission Church. That shop, along with raising chickens and pigs, help to provide them with the privilege of raising their children and helping to sustain a community. One could safely say that the framing of his legacy and the origins of his entrepreneurial spirit were born right there. An early education at Borden's Boys School and a secondary one at the Allen School afforded him the educational wherewithal to fulfill his career path. His life, along with his brother and sisters, centered largely on his Christian journey and working in his parents' shop. That life and work mirrored his parents somewhat, and in 1964, the opportunity arose which saw the opening of Jemmett's Variety Store in Church Street, Swipe Stone. That prospect would allow him to serve his community and be an example for those who wanted to venture into the realm of business. In 1966, he married Eulene and proceeded on a path of love that would last 50 years and become the proud parents of Debbie Ann, Dawn, and Vallis Jr. With Eulene by his side, the store began selling items such as confectionery, hair products, and canned goods. Over the years, the variety of items and the store's inventory would increase and include dry goods, toys, stationary and household items. He was a prudent businessman who didn't spend a bad cent. Imagine the vision that he had to have to open a business at that time and on top of that sustain it for 35 years. Some customers who patronized the store trusted their items, but they trusted him too. While the money owed to him could probably open another two general variety stores, that didn't concern himself too much with repayment, but more about the need to give. He understood that people needed help in their daily lives and would never turn back a customer if they needed it. His children recalled that the store would remain open and sometimes up until 8 p.m. on Christmas Eve, but never on a Sunday. He always believed that Sunday should remain the Lord's Day. The Spike Sound Church of the Nazarene would become the family's place of worship, where he would serve on the church's board as treasurer for close to 40 years. That service would also include assistance with the maintenance of the church and its operations. He would also serve on the church's properties board for the Barbados district for nine continuous years. He took particular interest in ministering to the men in the church and offering advice on being men of God and raising their families in the fear of the Lord. He lived his life as what it meant to be a good husband, a provider for his children, and being his brother's keeper. As a member of the Gideons International, an association of Christian business and professional men and their wives, he and mommy were dedicated to telling people about Jesus through sharing personally and by supplying Bibles and New Testaments. Both took their marriage seriously and became part of Marriage Encounter, a facility for married couples who value their relationship and desire a richer, fuller life together. Even though they had been married for a long time, they understood the importance of sustaining that union. They were also involved in the Mount of Praise Marriage Ministry, where they traveled to various Caribbean islands on retreats for many years. As a team, 
They encourage other married couples to put God first in their marriage and to respect the sanctity of marriage. As a father, he firmly believed that the man was the head of his household and though quiet in nature, maintained strict but guiding principles. Every morning, morning he would leave the daily devotions, providing that food for thought for the rest of the day. Now I want to verbalize his thoughts, his actions and advice told the story of the enormity of his life. are in uproar, kingdoms fall, he lifts his voice, the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us, the God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done, the desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes war cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says, Be still, I know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. And here ends the scripture reading. They did something seemingly crazy to others, but um, he really was a quiet man who sometimes had me a little bit scared because I wasn't sure if he was thinking it was mad for real. Yeah, but I know he is with mommy. I know there's a big grin on both of their faces, and they're just looking down from heaven saying, Ha, ah, that crazy girl again. Mm -hmm. But love them. Yeah. 